Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have something very special to share with you today. So if you haven't noticed already, I do have a link where I link, um, I share a code for Pen Chalet. And I decided, um, or actually recently, I just received uh, a couple of people using my code. And I was really surprised because I um, just thought maybe my code wasn't working or I don't know. I just, I wasn't expecting it. But long story short, I decided that I would, um, I wanted to thank you guys by giving back. And so I'm going to have a giveaway of one of the items that I got specifically for this video. Um, and I will share that with you right now. So let's open the box and see some of the goodies I got and then what I'm going to be giving away. Okay, so first thing that you see on top is a uh, your receipt and then a code and a pen chalet sticker. This is a new thing um, or a new sticker. I haven't seen this sticker before, so definitely gonna put that in my journal. Okay, so I decided to finally pull the string on a new Kawiko pen, and I love my Sailor inks, but I wanted to try a different color, so I decided to get the Yomogi Sailor color, and this is the Manyo ink, so it has some really nice shading. Also, it's I'm realizing it's a dye ink as well, so... Um, it should be able to resist some water. So I did not know that, I'm excited for that. And um, they had the Robert Oster Australia Australis Oak on sale. So I decided to drop that in there as well. And these are the big show. So I've been looking, um, in a lot of places for these inks and most of the places I've been checking have been sold out. But I was surprised to see that it was still at Pen Chalet. They only had a few that were in stock and I decided to pick up the Ravencaw Blue and the Night Bus Purple. So I decided I'm going to give away the Ravenclaw Blue to one of you who posts down below your favorite video of mine. So um, in hopes that, uh, and, and the reason why. So tell me what your favorite video of mine is and the reason why, and um, I will put your name down for the list of people who can win this bottle of ink. So this I'm just going to set to the side and we are going to open these up and test them out and then we are going to ink up my Koweko. So let's start with the Koweko or Koweko first. So I decided to get the iridescent pearl and it's very silvery, <laughs> pearly color. You can kind of see how it catches in the light. And 
And this is the um, one of the limited editions or like the collector editions. And I decided to get a broad because I don't yet have a broad Coveco. Um, so I really wanted to try out the broad and I am hoping, fingers crossed, that my fountain pen nib is on point. So I've decided I'm not going to use the cartridge. I'm gonna use my uh, converter and that's actually in another pen. So, it's actually in here. Where I have my other Quebecos and I think it's in the brass. Yep. So I think I have like a black ink, a purpley black ink in here and I'm going to switch it out and um, we'll be inking it up with one of the three here. Okay, so that didn't take very long to clean out. Just a couple of pumps and we would be good to go. So I'm just gonna get that in there just nice and ready. And before we get started, we need to test out these inks because I want to know which one I'm going to use. Uh, I do have my dip pen and we are going to use my journal here. And this is my A5 journal, so I'm just going to push things back to make some room. Okay. So I was just taking a sip. Let's um, start with my Robert Oster. And I think I need to get a little thing of water. So I have a little water container to dip everything in. Okay, so let's start off with Australis. I keep wanting to say Australian. Austra Australis, Australis Oak. I already gave it a little shake. I'm just gonna submerge it. And let's see how it looks. Ooh, this is like a coffee caramel color. And I can see the shading really pretty, actually. And let's just do...
Okay, so just drawing the bottle really quickly and then going to rinse this out. And wipe it off. So it's ready. Ooh, I like that little darkness around the edges. Okay, so next I am opening up the Sailor Monyo. This is very a uh, large square bottle. Just gonna give it a little shimmy. So pretty, look at that. I love to look at the color on the rim of a glass bottle. Okay, just dipping this in. And here we go. Let's, let's go on this side. Ooh, this is very dark. It's kind of faceted top. and really pointy edges. Okay, so this is Yomogi. And it's the Man Monyo ink. It's really pretty. So I always try to pick colors that I don't already have. And I fail every time because I always end up picking some type of blue teal color. But I definitely had to try the Harry Potter um, or the Monte Grappa Harry Potter one. And I want to see. Oh, look at this bottle. So pretty. Oh, it's in plastic too. Wow. Okay, so So these bottles actually remind me of the diamine shimmering bottles with the gold top but this is definitely very fitting for a, a Harry Potter themed bottle. Ooh, look at that. So I don't have many purples in my ink collection. I have so many blues, which is the reason why I gravitated towards the purple. Ooh, super dark. Night. Bus.
purple. And to draw the bottle, very squared but more rectangular than the Sailor Mono. And I think at the bottom I'm going to put Harry Potter. And now decisions, decisions. I'm not quite sure what I want to ink this with. <sighs> and <laughs> actually I am I am pretty sure. I you know I'm just gonna do it anyway, the Yomogi, because it's blue teal and it has this really pretty um shift to I think it's like a, um a purpley dark teal color so that's what I'm going to use and I think it this would look good too with the night purple it kind of has like a purple shade to it on the barrel of the pen but yeah I think I'm just gonna do Yomogi just because just because you know blue is is one of my favorites So let's ink this up together. And I'm going to Okay. So I'm going to slurp it up. back down. I usually only do this twice so that I get a pretty good fill. So I think that's pretty good. I'm going to put the body of the pen which is a tad bit squeaky and I need to wipe off the nib and I will cap that just to give it a second and then cap my bottle. So it looks like uh, my Caveco is kind of naked because I usually like to have a clip for all my Covecos, Covecos, and um, that is definitely something I'm missing. So I'm definitely going to be getting a clip for this pen, but in the meanwhile, let's see how it writes.
Yeah. I must say, this is the smoothest broad uh, Coeco I've ever experienced. And it's so smooth. <laughs> this is like the perfect, this is the perfect nib for a broad on a Coveco. So I am more than pleased with this pen. I'm actually probably going to be journaling with it for the rest of the day because of how nicely it writes. Paw Blue, make sure to post your comment under this video of your favorite video of mine and why. shading on the Yamogi Monyo ink. The night bus purple. This is really pretty deep purple.